you can front all you want for these people. They know what's going on up in here. What's going on? They know. You can act a dumb dumb, go on live stream, catch me by surprise. You know it like I know. You know what's going on. So What's going on? Don't play dumb dumb with me. I don't do these fake shit. You know I'm not this. doing fake shit. See, we need to have some kind of understanding, some kind of relationship, although we are going our separate ways. I think that we should be able to... But this is not the way. Like, you're, you're coming to me out of nowhere. I you, just told you to say hi. No, you 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 asking questions and shit. Should I leave? With your phone, yeah. All right, say bye. You see? They're like, this is not the place for this. It's not. It's not. You, the problem is you are stuck in a bubble. You don't know what's reality and what's this. How do you figure that? It's facts. No, it's not at all. I'm having a conversation with my people. You called me. I came upstairs. I asked you if you want to say hi. So what's the problem? At the end of the day, we still live under the same house, same roof. So what's the issue? <sighs> Everyone <clears throat> say bye to Adam. This this is not the stage for this. It's not the stage. Mm -hmm. So you called me in here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were on a live stream. Okay. I called you for a basic question. Okay. You got a basic answer. With your mustache. <laughs> With my mustache, it would be thicker than yours if I grew it out. Okay. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what I is doing. Auntie Julian just called me. Hi, Auntie Julian. <laughs> yes, I'm on live. You call me while I'm on live and you know I'm on live. Where's Aya? Aya is on house. What do you mean? Hi. Are you a glamour? Hi, princess. Did you just wake up? Mommy, go by Okay. Yeah, I think Julie, let me put her in right now. How do I put her in? Where's Auntie? I don't even know how to put somebody live with me. Oh, there we go. It's so. red hot. Can you blow on it? Yes. Okay. Go live. Oh, look. Look, look, what look at me now. Me. I'm just walking in from I'm the alive. black cottage. Saying, Hi. Hi, babies. And I said, let I'm me go on this live to see the foolery. What are y'all doing, y'all? What happened? Mommy. Hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. I just walked in from the hold garden. Hold on. So hold on. Zane wants to talk to you. I want to go to your house. And you are coming to my house. Yep. Wait, I love you. you. Are. Today? Soon. I love oh, you. Say I love you, Auntie I'm Julia. Going, I'm going for my birthday. <laughs> Y'all may need to I love stay you. here. I love you so much. Okay, hold on. What are you saying now? So I'm looking like a little old lady because I was up at the cottage. How was it? <laughs> and have, just in the last 10 minutes, my hair turned gray. Because I saw you up in live. <laughs> what? These what do you mean, people ain't gonna take you serious? What do you mean, take me serious? You up in there asking Adam? Tell what? the people. Tell the people. Why are you I'm not romantic? Why aren't you romantic? 
oh, the last thing you did for me was the baby shower. It's, <laughs> it's the truth. It's so petty. What's Why petty? Why the Troyers to ask him about baby shower? About the last time you were romantic? There's a lot more to what's going on. But I already spoke about that in a YouTube video. So that's nothing new. In my no. separate video. So they know that because he's not being romantic is why you're leaving? I mean, it's deeper than that, obviously. It's a lot deeper than that. And I've been reading people's comments. And they're saying to go for therapy and to do this and to do that. But there He's are some things that you have to leave out of the public eye. But what did I say that? No, no, no. Oh, I'm just, I'm talking to the people. That if yeah. it's as easy as therapy. And if you think that it's something that just happened this year. No, these no, are really. things that have happened and stemmed for many years. Yeah. And, and therapy just doesn't, of... yeah, you need to actually go to therapy and do the real work. But right. I so said you, that in order for me to get clarity, right, I yeah. need to be in a separate space because we have a lot going on. It's toxic in the household. You know, the energy's off. You don't know if we're on good terms or bad terms. And it's just that connection isn't there anymore. The connection that, isn't there, but people, the chemistry people isn't think there. that the connection isn't there because it just happened, because it's not romantic. There's so no, much but more. It's There's deep. So it's much deeper more. than that. Right. It's deeper than that. And people, I've been reading Auntie Jillian, we need you here. Auntie Jillian's been here, and I've gotten a lot of the blame for pushing her back. Right. You're the but, one that told me to go back. Yes, I'm yeah, the but, one that told you to go back to work on your marriage and, and it's always sure it's every year same thing it's the same thing it's the same thing right it's so, a cycle it's a cycle it's a cycle it's, but adam is a good person you of are course. a good person but there's a lot of things that have happened that have made me very uneasy yeah and all i could say is that both of you deserve to be happy and right. if you can't do it together Right. Then you can take a break and do it apart. And that's the step that I'm taking. Right? Because right. I just I feel like and I, then need I to heard find, I feel like I have to find myself first. I have to, you know, make myself happy before I can make anybody else happy, you know? So that's why I've been spending more time with God. That's why I've been reading the word. That's why I get therapy every single week because I need therapy and I need to work on myself so I can grow as a person. So I, number one, I'm going to be uh -huh. selfish in this situation and get the help that I need, get the help that I deserve to become a better woman, to become a better, a better mother. And I feel like in this situation, it's not making me a better person, you know? Well, everybody can better themselves and everybody needs to think about their mental health and their well -being. Okay, Milan talking and about, hold on, Milan talking about not a public FaceTime call on private matters. But hold on, you guys, okay. act like we haven't Good. been documenting our life all these years. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I do. I, I share my life with you. Yes. You it's know, true. I don't share everything. And of course, we keep things private. But I feel like, I'm an open book and I'm very transparent with the things that I go through because there are people out there that genuinely want to help. There's people out there that give great advice and people can relate to my story, right? So that's why I put my life out there. Now, obviously, some, a lot of things are left private, but I share what I'm most comfortable about. Maybe I used to, you know, be an overshare, but I share what I, I think that needs to be addressed. And I think that that's Latoya's life. That's how we all started. That's how we all came up because we we're open books and we're transparent with our with our right. you know and following. There are, there are a plethora of things that I don't think that the public you can share with them, right. so people can guess 
and they can assume that it's a therapy thing but they don't know that you guys been there all the time done that all the time and that i heard you speak about religion and religion might be a big part of it yeah when you're not equal but i your think it's just, buddy, it's just deeper than that it's it's even deeper than religion you know what i'm saying it's just it's just the connection isn't there the chemistry and, isn't there some people, like the french would say you think uncle warren and i have connection and chemistry all the time but we know how to navigate around the heart. Right. You know how to navigate and you know what your heart wants. And if you come at a time in your life where that's not what your heart wants, that's not what your mind wants, yeah. then you're punishing yourself to continue a cycle that isn't good. And then you put kids in the equation and that ain't a good thing. And I know that people are saying that it's all for the show. I'm reading it's the comments. For the show, but no. Yeah, people are saying it's all. I trust me. I don't have I to tell y'all that this no is show. not a show. Mm -mm. This is not a show. These are two young people with three children <laughs> that are struggling in a marriage that has turned into a cycle that has just gone crazy. And I can't keep pushing people back to where they don't want to be right right i'm the right. one to get back get right back in that marriage and you work on this you're That's over that i stand and now i'm just into your happiness adam has to be happy you have to be happy but there are things to be left private that i'm not going to come up on any live First. ever okay. hear you talk about what i said and you'll never be on any live talking about the real private issues no unless somebody else addresses that and ain't nobody gonna address it because it's nobody's place to address it right so yes so everyone know that you do what you can to save yourselves and save your marriage Mm -hmm. work on yourself work on your spouse but now people have children and all of a sudden everything else is out the door and two people have to get together called parents to make sure that your children are good right and those children will always be good it will always be good because you know what we children have will always be good system and that becomes that becomes yeah, the first priority before anything yeah Kids are number one. Like a real brand here, boy. Oh, God. Kids are number one, right? And a lot of people are like, you know, stay and work it out for the kids. But it's like, I need, I need to find you happiness. Can't, you can't. You My, can stay and work it out for the kids. Kids feel energy. But are the kids working it out for you? Yeah. If things start happening to them mentally. Right. So sometimes when you're working it out for the kids, the best thing to do is to remove yourselves from the situation. Right? right. And that way, yeah, you can't are stay helping in a happy kids. relationship just for, for children. People in our family who do that and they're not happy. You know what I'm saying? You just yeah. do it for children. And then when the children, you know, graduate school, it's, it's then when they decide to split ways but i don't believe in that i believe in you how no, I, live and don't stay in a relationship that you're not happy in and with kids you kids have to know you have to know and be well enough in your mind to be able to be well enough for your children and right. sometimes at the best thing to do and as i i've always told the toya you have to make peace with adam and Adam has to make peace with you. There is no immature shit going on here because now there's one, two, three. That one Aya, one Zane, one Samia. That yeah. is your priority right there. So yeah. everybody has to grow up. Right. Everybody has to shut kids the F can up about Kids can 
feel that energy. You know, they don't know if we're on good terms or bad terms. You know, Zayn is lashing out his own way, and children are being affected. And so we need children to remember ourselves. Children can be affected they in this. Affected. So a lot of times, the best thing to do is they know they love their mother, they know they love their father, they don't know anything in between that. So y'all have to work it out for them and for your mental health. So I would love, and I like the way that both of you are coming together to parent the children. Yeah, that's number one for us, to be co-parents and to be the best parents that we can be for our three children. That's, that's it. Oh, at that's right, it. You know? And before it becomes more toxic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And everybody's definition of toxic might be different different but yeah. as long as people know that you stand behind your family and you say go back this is a marriage and you'll work these things out and then here we go again go back again go back again go back to the table and try and work it out and how many times can you go back to that table before yeah. that table just can't be fixed anymore right so fix up here Fix your heart, yep. do it maturely, keep things mm -hmm. in private that should not be coming out on any live or anything like that, and move on with your life, joined, because you're joined for life. And be fair to each other. And that's just not for Latoya, that's for all of you guys, because so many people are going through this in life, and you're just seeing what's for you but you're not seeing the big picture because you have kids in here. And those mm -hmm. little kids grow up to be, they're young adults. So mm -hmm. however they are affected in the house, that is what they're going to do when they get older. So if they live in toxic, they're gonna to become toxic. Right. And that is not what you wanna do. And especially young black boys growing up to be black men, they are not respected out here. So you need to focus on especially your boy child. Especially your boy child yeah. that's going to grow up yes. to be a black man and emulate what he's seeing. You're coming for him. Mm -hmm. You've got to make them come for him in a good way. Yeah. As a leader. And not mental. as somebody who's broken and, and toxic and, and feeling like yeah, we, yeah, yeah. So all of y'all that are going through whatever you're going through, and Latoya, <laughs> peace for the children. Yeah. Amen. And I look like a granny because I was on the beach and I drove back two and a half hours and I never knew I had such gray hair like this. Listen, you and are not. And so I'm trying to like focus on well, you know what? It's a real thing. Y'all know I don't look like no granny in real life. And Julian, so. <laughs> Adam has messaged me talking about I'm nuts. Well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you are a little nuts. <laughs> you're a little nuts. I'm honest. You're cray cray. You're cray cray when you're ready. And what he, he is a cray cray himself. Both of you guys are crazy together. Yeah. In good ways and bad ways. <laughs> In good ways and bad ways. Both of you guys reflect off of each other. Make sure After you follow you my... Ask, <laughs> ask Auntie Jillian. There's over 3,000 people <laughs> up in here. Follow Auntie Jillian. 3,000 people get in school. When I saw you yeah. up there with Adam, I was like... I'm like... Hello? What is yeah. she doing? You're like, why is she up there putting Adam in this kind of awkward kind of thing here? But Latoya is a free spirit. She does yeah. what she wants to do when she wants to do it. And a lot of the times, it's not the thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the thing to do. But she has the biggest heart. And... <laughs> 
sometimes you have to reach in and save her, but you mean, you know what? You can't have people stomping on you either. But I just feel like I just told him to say hi in the live. At the end of the day, you we're in each other. You should have asked him. Ask him for what? Say, I'm going to come up and say hi to you on the live. Do you want to be on the live? But my girl loves the shock factor. <laughs> she loves the shock factor. And ain't nothing wrong with that at times. But it's so shocking. We live under the same ass roof. And you got to get along. And we have to get along no matter what we're going through. You know? So yeah, I didn't. But sometimes you have to give people a, a, give people a heads up. Bad. You don't have a heads up. I just told him to say hi. And then what was that comment that he. Yoke men don't what? Leave good I don't know what y'all say. That's why I'm going. Y'all need to talk straight with me. I don't understand any kind of terms. Yoke man. What the hell is yoke man? <laughs> what is yoke man? I don't know what yoke man don't leave good women. Uh, yeah, that, that to me is like speak some English. Because I don't know what you, All I know is you boil an egg and you get yolk. People like me don't <laughs> understand in my generation what yoke man is. Come straight. Come straight. Come straight. But yes, I know that the hunties and them have been like, where's Auntie Jillian? I read the comments. Auntie Jillian's here. And Auntie Jillian is sometimes tired of pushing people back to places where they may not belong, but you go and you fight it. You go and you fight it and you make it work. Yes, and he said that. What, what'd she say? He go, she goes, oh my gosh, she said woke men don't leave good women. Oh, woke. Woke men don't leave good. All of that is just shit. All of that is just words. Okay. That means... Everybody needs a good person in their life. That means basically he's woke and he wouldn't be leaving you if you were a good woman. I am a good woman because you're he's a not... Good, you're a I'm, damn good woman. <laughs> You're I'm a damn good woman or else he wouldn't have had three kids with you because half of those kids whatever you have in yourself they have within them too so you just don't lie down and make uh, children and not think that they ain't woke and that you're not a good woman woke men don't make youtube videos degrading their wives oh god <laughs> y'all need to give up these youtube videos of he said and she said if it were me, I would just let people think what they want to think. And I am working on me. I am not working on outside of me. Hi. Good morning. It's for tat. Oh. Look, my makeup yeah, stuff. Oh. I love it. She's a young assistant. Yeah. Even for her, you have to keep an example. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of hunties on here that are young. And you need to keep yourself as a role model to them. Yeah, I didn't address what he said in his video about me that he removed. I was just telling the hunties, you know, my experience and why I feel like we need to get a separation. That's what I said. But I'm like, I who cares what people... What who cares what people think about why you have to have a separation or why you got to have a separation? Yeah, but you're not understanding. I've put my life out there for over 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So yes. I do care. And since I've always shared my life experiences with people, um, they have a right to know because it's been out in the open. They have a right to know my side. Yes, they have a right to know because what you give them is what they may need to know in some aspects, but there's a whole lot of things you got to shut down. And I, well, I mean, where, and I see where it's going. It's a tip for tat. I'm expecting Adam to send out a YouTube video about answering what you said. And it just is not pretty to read to see and i know what they did i somebody said that how debbie snack said something at the end 
and then I, you you erased it and they all they all came for they all came for your mother but they need to stop coming for her because no, you don't have a right to know everything but right. I, my life out there and of course i'm going to tell you some things that i feel comfortable enough sharing That's but would you would you have told them if he didn't put out anything what what was going on no because remember i posted that instagram um the photo basically saying that we're going our separate ways and you know but okay maybe they deserve to know that but then but he the video hours later going in on me and my character and then I haven't, I, I haven't seen that because you see the tit for tat thing i just just i just just turn off everything there's no tit for tat work on the house yeah work on who who the three are in that house that mean the most and the tit for tat has to stop but yes everybody you're getting a separation that's it that's all they need to know yeah that's they don't need to know that but then he Sometimes made you have to let people look like a fool that's playing the foolery. So if he wants to go and put out shit, you ever hear about backfire? Yeah, and that for the streets comment, he we got into an argument, right? And he I know how it went for the streets. He told me that verbally. So then when he was trying to reconcile everything and be trying to work things out, I said, I'm for the streets. I was being petty. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you threw didn't... it right back because he asked you something and you went, oh, they didn't mean... remember, I'm for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember what you said? I'm for the streets, so I threw it back at you. I wouldn't actually say that I'm for the damn streets. I don't know what kind of streets they think you came from, but people turn that whole thing around that just walked into um, looking at a comment that he said. And... I mean, for the streets was just a throwback. Like if Miles said to me, oh, so and Uncle Ward said to me, stop, stop being a fool. You're a fool. And then two minutes later, he'll say, can you come upstairs? I have something to show you. And I'd be like, no, remember, I'm a fool. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I come in. So the whole streets yeah. thing, y'all, you're going to look I back at this. The point is. Is that it? No, and he was making it seem like that's what I actually said, when in actuality, it was me being petty. Yeah, no, it wasn't about, that was just stupidness. And you guys are going to look back at this in 10, 15 years and go, what the hell was I on? Well, when y'all are in your 40s, you're going to go, is there any way we could take down what we said? No, because this is the internet. And these kids are going to read what you guys put out. So that's another thing you have to be careful about. Yeah. So that was all a joke about the streets. And I even came back and I joked and said, remember, girl, you're for the streets. What corner are we meeting at? That was all jokes. Right. That was all stupidness. And y'all yeah. stopped coming for Debbie Snacks because Debbie's in the situation. She's not about the situation. She's just in it. And so... Y'all don't, don't be mean and nasty and saying all kind of things to her mama because it is her mother. And she's there and y'all aren't. Right. Right? So just don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you hear unless you hear it from the horse's mouth. And... Stop making up the stupidness. I'm reading comments and, ah, oh, he must be dang it. What my RHOA and a whole package? Nah, stop being petty. And your girl's got to go and die to here and get back to the real things. <laughs> Y'all stay blessed in love. Respect each other. I can't wait to see my babies. Oh, soon come, soon come. I miss them. I miss you guys. We talk all the time. Nothing but positive, positive energy and positive vibes to everyone out there. Y'all do your thing. Make yourselves happy because this is not a dress rehearsal. This is real life. Yeah. And what you say today, you will regret tomorrow. So practice some kind of silence or rebuttal later.
Just don't go and type up everything. Oh, he said this. So I got to go and say that. Think about what you're going to say. Because you're about to explode. Lord. And you don't want people to come for you in the wrongest way. Oh, no. People are coming for me no matter what. You know me. Well, you have you know, to have a tough, you have to have a tough shell. I have a tough shell. It's always we gonna been tough. We're going to see. We're going to see. I've been all over these blogs already. Lord. These blogs are going to be different than what's happening in real life. I know. Oh, my God. But God's got you. God's got you. And you got to have him back. God is number one. Okay. I have a great connection. Always keep, always keep him number one. Whichever God you believe in, it doesn't matter who it is. It might not even be a God. It might be somebody that you call a guardian angel and you don't want to believe in anything else. Keep them at your front. Amen. Front. Yes. All right. Anyways, y'all right. will have a good day. And trust me, I'm coming back black. <laughs> <laughs> In an hour. Okay, All bye. right. Peace and love, everyone.